So today's gonna be a little bit different. Yes, I am still testing an off-road side-by-side, and while my words about it may speak loudly, it's gonna be mostly silent. In fact, it's actually running right now. For today's test ride, I'll be using the 2024 Polaris Ranger XP Kinetic Ultimate. This is the all new electric design from Ranger, and while you can get a less expensive premium model with a smaller battery and therefore less range, this Ultimate touts 110 horsepower electric motor, producing 140 pound-feet of torque, which is twice the torque of any other utility side-by-side -side of this category. And keep in mind, the Ranger 1500 only has 104 foot-pounds of torque. It's got a massive 29.8 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery, and it'll give us up to 80 miles of range if you drive like your 90 year old grandmother. Now it's important to realize before we dive in much further that this Ranger is no less of a Ranger just because it's electric. It might take a plug instead of a jerry can to fill it up, but this thing doesn't want any of your no eating on the white leather Tesla seats BS. This is a Ranger, it's ready to work just as hard as any other. And that means a 1,250 pound class leading box capacity and 2,500 pounds of towing with a low range, just like the gas version. Up front, you're still gonna find the place for an electric winch. And yes, the front bumper even accepts the quick attach mounts for the Polaris Glacier plows. Like I said, the only thing this Ranger gives you less of is range. But even that isn't the big issue that we all thought it would be because really, how many of you in your Rangers go out and ride more than 80 miles in a day? After doing a big survey, we found out not too many of you. And keep in mind, Polaris gives you a three-year electric powertrain warranty and a massive five-year battery warranty to keep your mind at ease. Now, the Kinetic does have three power modes, which act like the drive modes on the regular Rangers. That is Eco Plus, Standard, and Sport. And what these do is help you to either conserve power or likewise go out and have some fun. And let me tell you, if you want to let loose, just like the 1000 XP, you sure can. Watching the on-screen gauge go into lightning mode means you're ready for liftoff. The tires spin, the dirt flies, and I realize quickly that electric has many benefits. The suspension is set up for the added weight of the battery packs, and it never feels too heavy or uneasy. Drifting a nice power slide or cruising the open trail is as confident as the gas versions with the added benefit of hearing so much more than you ever have before. I mean, seriously, let's stop for a second and listen. So we've had the Ranger Kinetic for a little bit of time now, and I've been able to put some miles on it. I've used it around my house. I've had it at my house actually, selfishly, because I wasn't a huge believer in electric vehicles. I just thought, you know what? This isn't something we need in this industry. Lo and behold, my opinion of this has completely changed the more I use it. And trust me, I am a petrol burning, oil using son of a gun. I, I love, gas powered vehicles of all kinds and I don't want to see them go anywhere but there is definitely a place for kinetic and electric side by sides. We had some family over the other day. They're not from the country, they're from the city. We went out, there was three of us in here. As we're running down the trail, seeing all these cool things, I'm having a conversation at regular volume discussing all the cool things about the area. And when I got back, I thought to myself, that was so quiet. We were able to just have a regular conversation. I know you're not gonna buy something so you can have a conversation inside the cab, but it's really impressive how quiet this is and how much else you are able to take in, especially when you're riding with somebody else. This is a workhorse, it's a Ranger, but we know that it does everything that a Ranger does. In fact, going down the road, this thing takes off like, well, like a missile. It is incredibly fast. Probably one of the fastest side-by-sides I have ever been in. Nothing, nothing held back. Even the two liter, I'm not sure. I kind of want to challenge this thing against the two liter and see what happens. But at the end of the day, I just, I really enjoy the seamlessness of this thing. I mean, right now this vehicle's running. I'm shifting from forwards to reverse. 
you didn't hear the transmission clunk, you didn't hear any, you know, issues there, you didn't hear any notchiness or whatever. I just, I, I think this is a totally different way to experience side-by-side -side riding. Really solid product, I love it. Right now I have put on, uh, what have I put on? Over 50 kilometers. My battery is at 57% still, and I have run this thing hard. The Ranger Kinetic, yes, it has some drawbacks with getting power to this vehicle if you use it. Besides that, there is nothing, and I mean nothing, this thing doesn't do better than its gas-powered counterparts. I actually never realized how much noise the tires alone make at high speeds. But keep in mind, any fun had in sport mode is gonna reduce your 80 miles max range quite a bit. However, a nice built-in center pod gauge shows you battery life left, as well as an estimated range available. Truthfully, we need to look at the battery as not a negative or a trade-off, but look at this Ranger as a completely different line of Ranger, because going electric has its benefits as well. Now the obvious are areas that are noise sensitive or the inner city yuppie districts that believe drilling for oil is worse than lithium mining. The city councils who buy these are already imagining the electrified change and visualizing themselves running through fields of wheat and white button up shirts and flowing floral dresses with puppies licking their faces and the sun ever shining on them because now they can plug in a ranger while watering the gardens in downtown Metropolis. But the rest of us can see the benefits like becoming the silent hunter on the way out to the tree stand. And when you get behind the wheel of the Ranger Kinetic and you turn it on or power it up or electrify it or whatever you call it, you realize that there's a whole lot else that you hear when a gasoline engine is not involved. Creeping through the woods, the only sound is a slight hum from the electric motor and the crunching of sticks under the wheels. The wind blowing through your helmet seems more real, the smell of nature stronger and the anticipation of getting into the tree stand as real as it has ever been. And this is where the Kinetic really shines and probably why it's available in Polaris Pursuit camo, because there has never been a side-by-side -side built that's this hunter friendly. Now I know a lot of skeptics exist out there, but keep in mind this Ranger still has 14 inches of ground clearance, 29 inch Pro Armor X-Terrain tires, and 10 inches of suspension travel all the way around. So hauling out your harvest and you and a buddy or two isn't a problem nor is hooking up to the two-inch hitch receiver in a bush buggy and dragging out a quartered up bull moose. And there must be quite a few who can already see the benefits because this 2024 Kinetic version is already sold out. Now, if you're not interested in the hunting aspect, there's still a lot to like about the Kinetic when it comes to work or play. You gotta keep in mind that yes, this is at the top of the price spectrum, but on the other side, it is jam packed full of included features. From the 12 volt power port to the built-in stereo system and the Ride Command 7-inch display, there's a lot here. Navigation, optional cameras, even the ability to plug in your game camera card to view on the screen. There's LED lights everywhere to save power, but also look really high end. The factory installed six kilowatt charger will keep you charging for years to come and includes a household 120 volt and 240 volt plugs, depending on what you have available. Now, before we got the Kinetic, I didn't really know if I would like it. I mean, I tested the old Ranger EV, which was in a smaller chassis with smaller wheels and much less performance and range. But when it comes to this Ranger XP Kinetic, I gotta tell you, Polaris did their homework and they delivered exactly what they said, which is a no compromise, full featured Ranger electrified. <laughs>